Welcome guys. Today we are going to learn a very easy trick that can convert a blank value to zero. Let's dig in. On the left side we have card that is showing a blank value. This blank value is the result of this calculation. Normally how we handle this problem, what we do is we simply type if then is blank and simply copy this calculation and wrap this under blank. Then comma, simple zero, again zero, comma, and paste the same calculation again and close the bracket. When I hit enter, it gives me zero. But the problem here is we are repeating the calculation. And when we repeat the calculation in DAX, it means we are unnecessarily using this, this system's resources two times, which is not an idle practice while writing tax calculations. It also impacts the performance. So how we can handle this problem? One another way of handling this problem is to use another function. This function is called colleagues. Simply apply this and the first value is going to be your main calculation. Comma and what is going to be the alternate of blank? Simply zero and hit enter. And this gives you your zero. But I do not recommend using colis to convert blank to zero. Instead, use the trick that I am going to show you now. Because this trick is very easy to implement and it converts blank to zero very efficiently. Let's see the solution. In cut two, I am using this measure and I am simply adding a plus zero. And this zero addition of zero is converting blank to zero so as you can see i'm getting a blank i'll add zero and i'll get a zero here is a precaution before using plus zero always use plus zero for all the calculations whose result type is going to be a numerical value if the return type of the calculation is not a number or numerical value in that case do not use this plus zero let me show you why this becomes a problem so here in card three i am using the same method i'll remove this and add this card sales and it's returning returning me a blank if i simply add plus zero here i'll get zero as a result but as per the calculation if i make a selection in the subcategory i'll get an error which is coming because of addition of zero in this case i'm getting a zero because the result type of this calculation is a text value and addition of zero is giving the error whenever the system is throwing you a text value so use this with precaution i hope you like the video if you are interested in downloading the resources of this video links are given in the description have a nice day